So is this how your drawer of lips and camisoles look? With Conmary folding, you can make it look like this instead. Hi, welcome to Just 2020. So my name is Tracy, and today we are going to do lips, half slips and the camisoles and organizing the drawer so that it's not a mess and you can find what you need when you need it. Different styles of camisole. We want to make sure that we see all of the details so we can tell them apart in case they were the same color. The best way to do that is we're having our little item that we're going to fold them into that size of right there. Putting it face down, we look for the, the seams. Not a big deal if it's not even on the bottom, just make sure it's not all wrinkly. Same as the top. Smooth it out nicely. That's Conmarie fashion. Or Conmarie style, I'm not sure. We're going to grab it below the armpit and flip it over. So that our detail is down. We can use well, we can't use the seams because it is actually smaller than that and don't worry about the wrinkling because we're not going to be stuffing this super tight full and that's what creates wrinkles when they're on top of each other or in drawers so we can fold just a little bit more tucking these straps in you can fold it a little bit smaller than you might have otherwise don't over Don't leave them leave a little space here or have them butt up right against each other, it's okay. And then the fourth time. And we know that's smaller, so it will work wonderful. Make sure that we when we do fold this part, we're not going to be having that part roll over itself. So make sure it's nice and thin, nice and flat. And then here. And once more, make sure you leave your space between so that you have space for the folds. And here we are. Cute little bundle. It'll fit in there nicely. And look at that, now it stays. So I will quickly do the other for three. Just so you can see the different styles all work. So here you see, I have four just nicely fitting into this little tissue box. Here we have a bunch of half slips. Find your seams to lay it out. So if you want it to about this size. So since it is an A-line skirt, we're going to end up having to fold it in just to get that rectangular shape happening first. Make sure you're smoothing at every stage. But with this silky satiny fabric, the more folds we have, the more structure it will have and it will retain its shape better to stand up on its own in the drawer or the bin or the box is not as full. Now we're going to start really small here because we have a few layers to go. We're going to do just one here and then this. Now, you're not gonna see it as well, but we can tell if we just pick it up what it is very easily. And it does stay up on its own. Oh look, it fits in your tissue box. <laughs> right now this one makes it a whole lot easier for us because we have this large area that has a design. So we want that down. We're going to, it's another A-line. So we're going to do many little folds to make it thin, small, not very wide. Make sure you're actually grabbing 
and flipping instead of just rolling. Let's see if we can get this nice and tidy. And look at that. That's really noticeable. See? And it's as wide as that, so it would be wonderful. Those are our tiny little folds here. And one here. And then make sure there's a space. And then there we are. Oh, see, you can tell that this is has some lace at the bottom. There we go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. You can definitely tell which one this is, especially if it comes up the side. Now that's the detail you would want to keep noticeable. Ah, no, there it is. Now you can see there is a small fine detail. Which is noticeable if we want to set it inside our little bin. You can see the difference in colors and design. Space to move things around or if you need to make things snug and all fit in the drawer. Taking one item out is not going to mess up the rest of them. Even if you decide you didn't want that one, you wanted this one instead. Everything's still nice and neat and tidy. You can always shove things forward and have this as your way to rotate stock. Or you can always have them in the same order if you have smaller to larger. It's totally up to you. Make it work for you and your home and your life.